What's going on? I'm Sam and today I am buying a forklift. I got a truck full of cardboard I got to get rid of real quick and then I'm going to run to Peter's shop and I got to do a couple things with him. Well, camera fell, but at least it didn't break this time. Today we're eating healthy. So he was loading this up for me with his forklift and he was going to move it more to the center since I had never driven it before and he accidentally rolled off the back of the trailer. I wasn't filming but it was crazy and I think he needed to change his pants after that. What, this one? This one. No. Okay. But like a boss, he picked it back up, put it back on the trailer, and we strapped it down. Oh, yeah. So it made it back okay. I was kind of worried about towing it on the highway. Everything was really solid and there was nothing to worry about at all. I was really curious how I was going to get this off because I had brought tow ramps with my trailer to try and get it on but since he dropped it on with the forklift I wasn't sure how to get it off. Luckily the neighbors were there to help me out one more time. One tire is pretty bad. It's going to need replaced soon if not right now. So I'm going to have to look into that and I called one of my buddies. He said don't pay more than 600 for it. So I offered him 600. He said no and I decided just to get it for the 800. This was because I really wanted a forklift so I can start playing with it and stacking these things for practice and also because I'm impatient and I wanted it for a video. I figured even if it breaks down it's good content. You know you have a small toy forklift when it's put on and off a trailer with another forklift. 
I do want to mention, I'm very, very happy with this Tundra so far. I think my buddy is probably right about the cats being clogged, because even though it bogs down over like 4,000 RPM and doesn't increase speed, sometimes decreases, it pulls a trailer very well without the transmission slipping or anything. I doubt it's the transmission anymore because it has no problems pulling a trailer even with this heavy forklift when I was moving the CNC and the bridge port and all that stuff it did fine I put over 2,500 miles on it in like the first two weeks it's been three weeks and I think I'm over 3,000 miles right now I really didn't want to go fast with this forklift on the trailer anyway but if I had gone over like I don't know 70 miles an hour I was going about 60 the whole time if I had gone over 70, I probably would have had a lot of trouble going up the hills and maintaining speed. But once I get this cat problem figured out, it's going to be a really good truck and I'll probably end up keeping it for a very long time. Maybe eventually trying to get a four wheel drive version, but for now it's everything I need. I had been deciding between two forklifts. I really wasn't going to go with this one because for a little bit more money, there was another forklift with a little bit more height, a little more uh, weight capacity, looked a little better, but it was a lot further away. And I ended up going with this one just because I wanted it and I could get it now. I wanted to go see it, but I told him that if he took 800 instead of 1200, I would just bring my trailer now and pick it up. And he said he would, so that's what I ended up doing. One of the things though was once I got there, I found that it does only go up seven feet. Honestly, I probably need one that goes up 10 or 11 feet because I wanna put some real high shelving in here for storage. So my plan is I'll use this for now, paint it, clean it up, make it look a little nicer, and eventually resell it and buy a bigger forklift. Why do I need a bigger forklift? Because it's cool and I just want one. But in all honesty, if I start dealing with heavy metal for plasma cutting or similar things, it will be very useful. I can store wood and metal high. I can store things high. And it's just going to be a lot easier and make the shop run a lot smoother. I'm also going to be using it for things that I don't even plan on using it for. Like if I rearranged machinery, it would help. If I just wanted to pick something up and look under it, it would help. It's going to come in handy for a lot more reasons than I think. Anyway, I think I talked long enough. It's time to start playing with this thing and practicing stacking Legos. Pretty much same concept. Let's bring this bad boy into its new home. Another weird thing about this forklift is it's a manual. So you actually have to know how to drive manual and use a clutch to be able to operate it, which I don't necessarily think is a good thing, but he told me that it would make the transmission last a lot longer. He does say that the engine transmission brakes we're all freshly rebuilt so that's pretty cool if it's true and i have no reason not to think it's true because he seems like he does a lot of engine stuff judging by his awesome garage honestly when i saw his setup i was really jealous because he had a few lifts a lot of space a lot of tools it was pretty sweet so i'd never driven this thing and once he dropped it on the ground i had to drive it to my shop and it was pretty easy just like driving a manual transmission car Man! 
man, what a pro. That did take me a bit of time, but considering that was my first time ever using a forklift or even really driving it other than driving it from next door over here, I think that's pretty awesome. Now what sucks is I wanted to stack these three high for the time being and this forklift is not going to do that. I think it's about right here for the max, so not quite, but still like that was fun. And these are the shorter totes I have too. So you can see not quite high enough, but it's so close. Now that I got this thing, I'm just looking at it like, why did I really need this? Probably not, but oh my gosh, for some reason it's so fun just being able to drive a forklift. So I don't really have a plan with this thing, but for now I am probably gonna stack these too high, put them out of the way somewhere. I'm trying to get rid of them as quick as I can. I do wanna paint this roll cage black. Eventually I wanna paint this yellow, but I kinda like the worn look because it matches my crappy wall almost. But yeah, now I have a forklift. I just gotta practice a little more and get some stuff moved. Not that it's a good idea, but I did realize that since these are empty, I can pick two of them together high enough to put on top of a third. Not saying that's safe. So I learned a couple things. One is it looks like three of the tall totes are gonna be too high for this ceiling. And two, I think I'm out of propane. It died while I was in the middle of my sweet montage and I'm not able to get it started again now. It sounds like he's owned this for a long time and he had it sitting for about 10 years before he got it running again because he just didn't have a use for it. But now it looks like I gotta go get that propane tank refilled and I'm done playing around for today. Well, the propane tank ended up being full. I was very scared because I put it on this scale, figured out it was full and was trying to figure out why it wasn't starting. Eventually the battery died. Put it on the battery charger and it's fine. Just now, after moving a couple stacks, it died and wouldn't start. So I'm thinking the alternator's bad because it seems like it's not charging the battery up. But that's something super easy to check. And in the meantime, I can just put a battery tender on there and just keep the battery charged when I'm not using it. Because it's not like I plan on using this thing all day every day anyway. I gotta say though, I feel like I'm picking this up pretty quickly. I know I'm not the best forklift driver out there, but you know, I'm, I moved some stuff, right? But right now I'm gonna throw this thing back on the battery charger, let it charge up so I can finish moving this last stack into place and out of my way. Oh my gosh, I just realized these shelves are backwards. I don't know how that's possible. I guess probably because I was on the phone when I put them in, but now it's really bothering me so I gotta turn them around. I don't even know how it took me this long to notice it. I spent a pretty good amount of time just going through some stuff, cleaning up, rearranging, and it's crazy how much different this place looks than before. To me, that's one of the coolest parts about the early stages of a shop like this, because until you're sure where everything's gonna go, everything just keeps getting rearranged, and it's almost like you're in a different place every single day. I was able to kind of stage some stuff to see if I'd like it or not, and I've been slowly getting a more concrete plan of how I wanna subdivide this shop, where I'm gonna lay stuff out. It's pretty awesome because I had packed this shop so tight that it seemed like there wasn't much room, but with just a little bit of rearranging, there's so much room again, it's crazy. 
Also, I'm sorry if I've been yelling at you this whole time, but that's what happens when I'm really excited and really happy. And today I am genuinely super happy. I'm at a really good place in my life and I'm a lot happier than I was just two or even three months ago. When I started these videos, I didn't think I'd be getting a shop. In my mind, I had been thinking for a while like, man, I wish I could get a shop like Peter's for cheap. And then I ended up just doing it. And I have no regrets, even if this whole endeavor bankrupts me and I lose everything, it's gonna have been worth the journey. How likely is it that I'm gonna go bankrupt from this? Yes. I did a whole bunch of stuff today. I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made and I'm very happy with this new forklift, even if it is kind of crappy. But it's getting pretty late. I'm tired and I'm gonna go home and get some sleep. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Anyway, Griffin, we gotta go home. Let's go, pup. Let's go, pup. Griffin, let's go home. Yes. That's not home. <laughs> yeah.